Now that students are back in school, it's time to start budgeting for all those activities they belong to, but expenses can really add up, especially if you have multiple children involved in sports. According to a survey by TD Ameritrade, nearly 30% of parents spend $500 or more every month on youth sports. Now to save money, let's first talk about sports gear. We all know cleats, ballet slippers, and uh, shin guards can get expensive, but consider shopping for those items at thrift stores. Children typically only use these items for a very short time before they grow out of them, so you're likely to find what you're look looking for in pretty good condition. Websites such as Poshmark can also be a great resource for such things. And when it comes to where your child plays sports, consider recreational leagues as opposed to club sports. Rec leagues are much cheaper and require much less of a time commitment. For example, if your child is just trying out baseball to see if they like it, there's really no point in shelling out all that money required for a competitive league. Also, be open to working out trades with other parents or family members. If your little one is just beginning to learn an activity such as piano, maybe ask a family member or friend who is good at piano to give beginner lessons in exchange for some sort of service that you can offer them. That might be uh, art lessons or babysitting, even mowing the lawn once a week. And finally, carpool. Not only does it free up time in your schedule, it can save you some money on gas, and we all know how important that can be right now.